to find yourself on the My Books page. This is essentially your dashboard for controlling what's happening with your books and adding new books, removing books. This is where everything happens. Uh, so you can actually click on the Add New Book button, which we will cover in another video, to add both a an ebook and a print book if you're in the uh, if you're using print. So. We, uh, right now we want to take a look. The dashboard has changed a little from what you may have seen in the past. And we've got a few uh, uh, little tweaks here that uh, we think make things a little easier on you. Uh, first of all, these little icons will, will change color depending on the state they're in. You'll also get a little message like up here. So the way these work is... Uh, you can hover over these and you get a little message that says what they are. So this little bar graph icon is for starting a promotion. This is for starting an audio book, a little microphone there. The, uh, the little book shape is start a print book. And then there is an icon for ebooks, which is this little page with its corner turned. And you can see uh, that this ebook is in the publishing stage. And that's why this button is yellow. Right up here you can see we've got a book in the preparing manuscript stage for print and publishing stage for ebook. Um, if we had an audiobook going, we could get a little uh, indicator and message here. So the, the colors that we use indicate the various states of each of these. So yellow means that something's in progress. So you've probably done everything you need to do, or there may be a little bit left for you to do, but something is in progress. Uh, if the state of it is red, you'll get a message saying what's wrong, uh, that the manuscript needs attention, in some way, you can click on the uh, icon to see more and learn more so you can make whatever changes or uh, repairs need to be made or you can even reach out to uh, our customer support for help if you need it. So the uh, final state is green and that means everything's go. We are good to uh, launch the book. The book's already out there. Um, it's available for sale generally depending on the choices you made uh, and you will see down here these are all the storefronts that this book is available or going to be available in so uh, and he, from here you can also check your prices you can uh, do a little bit of rearranging this will this button will collapse this uh, this little structure for you and you can expand that again you can sort uh, right now we're sorting Z to A in this uh, column we, we're sorting by title but we could sort by release date contributor language and we can change the number of results we see per page. Uh, I like to go with 100 per page. I don't know if there's a downside to that, but I like to see all my books at once um, so that I can uh, quickly get to what I want to see. But if that looks too cluttered, you can certainly come through and uh, clean things up. You can even collapse these individually. So if you are trying to uh, make some edits to the book, you would click on the book's title or uh, you can click on the uh, stages over here and you'll get to uh, some features that allow you to make a few changes. We're going to cover all this in future videos, but for right now, this is the My Books page that you get to directly after logging in at draft2digital.com. <laughs>